So welcome back everybody to the San Antonio Marshals franchise and this actually might be the last video of the Madden 19 franchise that I've done this season. It started with the Ravens. We did I believe four maybe five years of the Ravens switched over to the uh, Marshals to try something new to switch it up and uh, we've done a couple seasons semi building this team. We've played eight weeks. Um, and week nine in the bye, what we're gonna do is just sim the rest of the season. Um, yeah, pretty much have just ran out on uh, you know the desire to play Madden anymore. I mean, it's gotten to that point. Uh, baseball season is here. Basketball's in full swing with playoffs are just about to start. I'm loving you know the Cavs franchise, uh, the minor league I got going there, and then definitely now knowing that the Operation Sports full minors rosters coming out uh, for the show. Uh, really sways it a little bit to where I want to get something going with the show as well. Obviously, haven't had anything yet due to the fact that I usually wait for those rosters that come out because you know the full full league minors is a big thing for me. Baseball, love it. You can really delve deep and get into a you know a rebuild uh, with the, the minor leagues with prospects. It's so it's to me it's the best sport to really rebuild a team. Obviously, NFL is so fun with the draft and free agency. Um, but with baseball, with all those prospects and just building up your minors and getting through there, it's always fun and I've always loved it. And obviously, um, like I've said before, this isn't my full-time thing. I do have a job, so um, just limited time here and there what I can easily put out. So uh, obviously I'm going to continue with the NBA for sure, but uh, definitely want to start digging into to the show. Obviously with these rosters, going to keep you coming out here soon. And with that... Man, it'll be definitely dropped to the back burner, and I just decided, you know what? Instead of maybe coming out with a video every, you know, three weeks, maybe two to three weeks in Madden, might as well just finish this series up now. Uh, really get into those two series, and then obviously when Madden 20 comes around, uh, we'll get right back into that. Love Madden, but you know, at some point, uh, you do kind of wear thin. At least I do sometimes. Um, I mean, this will be the what? Six, seventh season of this franchise. And obviously, um, gonna be honest with you, there's not that many guys, like big time guys, that have done the franchise, you know, YouTuber wise. Uh, this has been definitely a very more controversial Madden. Uh, so many glitches, so many problems. I mean, you've had guys stopping their franchise in this. So I think for sure, um, this is probably going to be it. The last of uh, Madden 19 franchise. And we'll see uh, what we can do with the rest of this with this San Antonio Marshalls team. Maybe we can uh, surprise everybody and uh, win a Super Bowl here in this year. And then that's how we'll finish off. That would be fantastic. We'll see how the rest of the season goes. Um, obviously, you saw the standings there. But well, we got a playoff here against, I believe, the Browns. So can't really complain about that. Um, this team was better than I thought for sure. The defense is outstanding. Um, definitely, definitely would have loved to see you know the development of some of the young players going more forward but i just think this is probably the time to end it right now so we're just going through here the league leaders just seeing uh what everybody did this year and uh after this i think what we'll do going into the game the playoff game is um obviously if we get to the if we win the playoff game we'll just keep going with this so what what, what that's gonna do is i'm gonna super sim probably uh, the uh, first playoff game. Hopefully we can get a victory. If we have to jump in and play, I will jump in and play that. Um, but if we can get a victory there, we'll just keep doing the same type of formula until we maybe have to jump in. So that's what's going to be the plan here going for this uh, video for the rest of the way. Um, as you see, Sean McVay wins of Coach of the Year. We did have a collapse, though. I believe we finished, what, 10 and 6? So we were 8 now. We get 2-6 and six to end the season. Not really what you want to see there. But at least we're in the playoffs. We did win the division. Uh, going through the rest of the awards here. Do we have anybody up for anything? Um, you would think you would have linebackers, but nope. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the AFC. Lamar Jackson wins the Offensive Player of the Year. Just continues his run. Two-time Super Bowl champion. Two-time MVP winner. Uh, Michael Jordan, guy we drafted. So you see a bunch of the guys we uh, we brought into the Ravens, uh, still performing well even years down the road. So here we go. 
first playoff game wild card against the Browns and uh, let's get this going here so let's hopefully hopefully we can get a uh, wild card victory under our belt and go forward there and get into the divisional round so far nothing going in this game Cleveland driving here up to the already to the 50 down to 30 this is a really good drive from Cleveland down to the 27 third down they will pick that one up uh, yeah we're, we're gonna wait uh, obviously they get kick a field goal so we hold them to three we're not gonna jump into any moments unless obviously you know if it gets bad we'll obviously jump into the full game but obviously for moments there I'm not really too, too concerned about the moments as Cleveland gets a turnover touchdown there Mayfield to Jarvis Landry 10 nothing the score here as we head into the second quarter so our offense has to get something going and we just go three and out and punt the ball right back and they have very good field position here pick up a key first down Cleveland moving in against our defense and that is a 16 yard catch down and that's a touchdown so 17 nothing and this wild card game is not turning out to be very good at the moment let's see if the offense could get anything here as there we go we're moving the ball into Browns territory we're down to the 22 down to the 16 yard line and incomplete third down this is a big one here first to go all right and then we get the touchdown by Brown so we answered right back on that touchdown only down 10 here and I think what we're gonna do is sim just let this go to halftime and then we're gonna jump in this game here in the second half and then we'll go from there so come on can we hold Cleveland Jeez, defense really having some issues here I don't know if it's Mayfield just tearing us up we'll at least get a field goal out of it yep so 20 to 7 here as we're about to head into halftime we still got 40 seconds left so maybe this offense could get something get uh, three points on the board yeah, that's there's a sack. That's pretty much gonna do it, and that's gonna be incomplete, and that'll send us into halftime here. So twenty to seven, we receive the ball first. Let's jump into this game, and let's see if we can get a comeback here in the wild card game. So here we go. We'll start at the twenty-four yard line, second eleven. Gakkar looking back to pass, has some time to throw, has Corey Davis, but he cannot hang on to that one. That is going to be incomplete. I wonder if that's Xavier Rhodes there for Cleveland on the coverage obviously he'd be up there in age now third and 11 they come with the blitz from the uh, nickel side there and that is Porter with the sack and we go three and out and have to punt obviously the weakest part of this team we have offensive line not the greatest thing and uh, with this I think the Browns pass rush is obviously very very good uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens there as Baker Mayfield with a huge pass down the field and uh, they're already in our field position. But now on third and five, that is going to come through as Tony Jefferson with the sack. Ball is loose. Luckily for Cleveland, they fall right back onto it. But that plays important because it knocks them out of field goal range, forces a punt, and allows our offense to get back on the field. So fantastic punt from Cleveland. And here comes the running game. Obviously, Kerr was out pretty much the almost the remainder of the season. And finally back now, so uh, he should be fresh and healthy. And he only had, that's only a second carry of the game, so obviously they haven't even ran the ball with him too much. But on second and 11, a mistake there as Porter maybe baited the throw there to Pettis. That one is picked off. He had the sack there earlier, now has the interception. He is making a uh, huge impact here in this, play, in this playoff game is Porter. And uh, now Cleveland has a chance to uh, put some more points on the board. But on third and 12, that is Edmonds there to pick that one off and we'll take it right back. So we're almost back in the same field position we were after the punt. Just two turnovers back to back there. And now we gotta get something going offensively for sure. We haven't gotten anything here. So in the two drives we've had at least, it's not been a whole lot. Blitz coming, watch out. And luckily Gakkar gets rid of that just in time. Corey Davis there with the catch. He's up to the 19-yard line, and that's a first down, moving us out of bad field position. Man, that was very close. One more second. That's probably a safety for sure. But on third and 10, just like I said, we're having troubles with the, uh, you know, keeping them back. The front four, Cleveland destroying their offensive line. Gacker has no chance there. That is incomplete, and uh, now they Cleveland gets the ball back, and they get a break there right off the bat. Not that great of a run, maybe just two or three yards, but the face mask pulls him down, and that'll move him forward. 
And uh, they're up to around the 50-yard line. So here comes Cleveland. Third and five, 40 seconds left in this third quarter. Quarter has gone quick, and we're running out of time in this playoff team. So Mayfield with the run, and he is going to pick up the first down with his legs. That's a big first down because not only is he going to run the rest of the quarter out, but uh, puts them in field goal range. We cannot allow any scores the rest of the way, that is for sure. So here we go, start of the fourth quarter. And on second and seven, that's going to be Mayfield finding Njoku down to the 19-yard line. So Cleveland just trying to put this game away here. They're not not—they're not going to try to settle for three. They want that touchdown. It's now Mayfield on second and nine. And Njoku just wide open. Absolute poor coverage. I'm not sure who that was on the coverage there. And that is not what you want to see at all. That is a touchdown. I believe it was a Dory Jackson on the coverage as well. That was terrible. And now the two-point conversion to put it to a three-touchdown game. Finds Jarvis Landry, making this 28-7. And now down three scores. Our offense hasn't done anything. This one's going to be a tough test for sure. So first and ten, just going up to Victor Ferguson. And he has the catch. Using that height there, goes up and get it. And we're going to have to hurry this one up. We need to uh, shorten these possessions really quickly here and get some scores quick. Second and ten. Gacker going, looking for it, and he cannot hang on to it there. I believe that was Hawthorne. That's going to be incomplete. And now a third and ten. As Gacker looking, pressure's there, and he gets crushed. Ball luckily just incomplete. And now we got to go for it here on fourth and ten. So Gacker looking in the pocket, and he has Corey Davis there for the catch. First down, down to the 11, gain of 20. Once again, we'll have to hurry this one up here. So we got nine minutes left in this playoff game. Gakar looking. Watch out. And he is going to run out of time. And he goes down as, I believe, Emmanuel Ogba there with the sack. Now making this a third and 13 here. Gakar looking in the pocket. Can't find anybody open. And he runs out of time again. Okunjobi there for the sack. Another one for Cleveland. And now this is, uh, this is a tough one here. Fourth and 15 from the 16-yard line. Gakar looking. He, don't, he, he won't even get a throw off. Three straight sacks for Cleveland. And uh, that was pretty much it. So disappointing way to, you know, end this franchise. Just decided, you know, sim this one out. This game's pretty much over. And that's exactly what happened. We just sim it out here. Cleveland gets one more field goal. They make this 31-7. to and uh, we won't get anything else. And a disappointing way to end this season. It looked, obviously, great with the uh, undefeated start. Uh, kind of faltered there at the end. And this Cleveland team, just better, much better team. Uh, especially the uh, their defensive side of the ball. Just destroying our offensive line. And you saw when I was playing there. I mean, even the, some of the plays that weren't shown. I mean, every time they were just getting pressure after pressure. And uh, not much you can do about that when, you know, you got constant pressure on the quarterback and then their coverage doesn't even really have to be that good because, you know, you can just drop maybe a few guys back there and you're good to go. And that's exactly what happened. We will lose this playoff game. And uh, that'll pretty much finish off the uh, Mad 19 franchise here. So, like, yeah, disappointing way to, to obviously lose and, you know, end the whole franchise. But I have to say... Um, it's been a success, obviously, with the Ravens. Um, won two Super Bowls. Uh, it was so much fun there uh, with Lamar Jackson, uh, building him up to be an actual quarterback, and then kind of getting into the actual like zone running and things of that nature. It was so fun. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed this whole series. Um, it just had to run out at some point, and it actually and it has here, so... That is going to do it for Madden 19 this year. I thank you guys so much for all the support, you know, building up this channel to a crazy spot that I never thought it would be. It's amazing, and uh, hopefully we can have more success going forward, and then Madden 20 will be here before you know it. So that's going to do it for this. Thank you guys so much. You're all awesome. If you please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. You have a good one. Bye-bye.